So here's the American Top Team staple and 2000 Olympic silver medalist in wrestling, Yoel Soldier of God Romero, one of the best resumes in this 185 pound division. You know him as a wrestler, but has a lot of pop in his limbs as well. You can ask Chris Weidman if you don't believe me. Yoel Romero, longtime middleweight contender, one time UFC middleweight title challenger, still a force to be reckoned with at 185 pounds. This guy has inhuman cardio. The pace in which he keeps is absolutely breathtaking. Yes, here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and as Dana White calls him, the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee making the walk tonight. You can make the argument no man has had as much of an influence on UFC fighters as Bruce Lee has. Quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. Man, it would have been great to see what Bruce Lee could have done inside the UFC. He is making the walk tonight. This guy is one of the toughest guys we've ever seen compete in the octagon. His ability to overcome adversity, to absorb punishment, and then come back to deliver his own is a really amazing thing to watch. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Romero is nine years the elder. He is five inches taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist and a professional record now. 13 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA! Soldier of God, Romero! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts. Whoa! Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice. He's posturing up here. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. 
in half guard. Oh, reversal. Beautiful, into mount. Nice left hand. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Big oh, elbow there. Man, nice. that is rough. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Tries to pass, but cannot. He's got a half guard here. Postures up. And he's back in the guard. now good defense here on the ground he's got that one arm trapped full guard now Joe doing a nice job here staying busy from the bottom postures up here excellent movement and transitions here on the ground staying busy Ten seconds to go in round one. Lee gets caught by that elbow. It doesn't look like there's a cut, but he'd be wise to get those hands up. Muito bem, você fez muito massa esse último round, tá? Olha, você tá controlando ele no chão. You're controlling him on the. Here's a huge punch that stuns. And here we see perfect timing with this double. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer in the building tonight. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Yoel is very relaxed and loose until he explodes. And he has worked very hard on managing his energy inside the octagon because he's had some problems in the past where he kind of gassed out a little bit, he got fatigued. So he's really gotten very good at relaxing until he explodes. And he lulls guys to sleep. And then out of nowhere, you see lightning fast, explosive power. Romero gets the double under. Look at this. Excellent movement here on the ground. Back to full guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. And he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Hammer fists blocks. Oh, he lands a elbow. huge elbow to the head. And really starting to make these shots count. And pummels under and out of double underhooks. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, elbow to the head there by Romero. Good shot to the head. Switches his stance yet again. Oh, and he lands another takedown there. He's already landed several in the fight and really doing a great job with these takedowns, not telegraphing his shot. Back to the canvas now here. 
And now he's in north-south. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Full mount. 30 seconds to go in round two. He's working some half guard now. 15 seconds to go. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Romero. All right, that's the end of round number two. Good defense, keep that head moving. Here we see a beautiful takedown. And here's another takedown. And here's another very nice takedown. Lots of action in that round. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. Ready, ready, ready. Third round underway. Leg kick checked by Lee. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Romero. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Man, another takedown. Scoring a lot of points with these. Now, the opponent is getting up quickly, but no doubt these takedowns are starting to add up. Transitions to full guard. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Transitions to full mount. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Romero. He's moved to full guard. He's trying to take the back here. Two minutes remain in the round. He's established mounted crucifix. Hammer fist gets through. Inside control once again. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Nice punch there by Romero. They're canceling each other out. It looks like he's trying to isolate that arm here. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. He's got that arm bar locked up. He lost it. He's looking to take the back. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Showing some good defense here on the ground by controlling that arm. All right, listen, your eyes start to swell up a little bit. I need some better defense from you, okay? Let's keep those hands high and let's keep... Let's take a look at it again here.
Here's a nasty head kick that lands. There's a powerful kick to the body. Big round. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. That was a, a piston. That wasn't a slap. That was a beautiful straight left hand. Catches the leg, then decides to let it go. Tags him. There, he's got it down. Romero's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Well, is there any strike not in this guy's arsenal? Nice elbow to the body by Romero. Big punch from the top. Romero's hammer fist, that one blocked. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Lee. Just over three minutes to go now. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy, working from the mounted crucifix. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Excellent movement here on the ground. Moves to north-south. Now potentially working on a submission instead. It looks like he's got that north-south choke locked in. Oh, we're getting a finish here. This could be it. This could be it. Lost Somehow it. stays in the fight. Completely lost the position. <laughs> Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Oh, he tagged him to the left. This could be it. Oh! Oh! oh. Huge right hand! Oh, he missed that kick. knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Wow, Joe, just incredible. Just when I thought I was going to start asking you about what adjustments they could make for the next round, we get the end of the fight. A huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in to stop the action there. Near perfect execution on that fight ending sequence. Let's see that from another angle. Look at this. Boom! And then he's out. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yoel, soldier of God. So Yoel Romero in all his glory is...